Welcome to Unit 1, Video 4. In this video, we will be studying scientific notation. We're going to look at putting numbers into scientific notation and then also taking numbers out of scientific notation. What is scientific notation? Scientific notation is a number greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10 multiplied by a power of 10. In our example here, this is our number that is greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10 and here is our power of 10. Scientific notation helps us to use very large numbers or very small numbers when doing calculations. How do we convert a number into scientific notation? The first thing we need to do is move the decimal to convert the given number to a number greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10. When doing this, we only want to keep our sig figs we want to get rid of any placekeeping zeros and only keep the digits that are significant. And then we're going to add a times 10. In our example here, 23,567, to convert this into a number greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10, we need to move our decimal point. Our decimal point is originally right here. If we moved it here, it is not between 1 or 10, neither is it here or here. But right here between the 2 and 3, we do have a number greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. Then we're going to add a times 10. Once we have that set up, then we're going to need to figure out the exponent. And our exponent is going to be based on the number of places that we've moved the decimal. Again, our decimal is to the right of the 7. If we move our decimal to make this the 2.3567 number, we move it 1, 2, 3, 4 times. So our exponent is going to be a 4, is our exponent. Now our exponents will be positive for large numbers. 23,000 is a large number. Any number greater than 10 will have a positive exponent. Our small numbers, or any number less than 1, will have a negative exponent. So numbers greater than 10 will have a positive exponent, and numbers less than 1 will have negative exponents. So it's important to note that so that when we are putting numbers into scientific notation, we know whether our exponent should be positive or negative. Another version of scientific notation is the E format. I show this format because typically scientific notation and calculators will be shown with an E instead of the times 10. The E format can be written with a little e or we can use a big E. It doesn't matter whether you use lowercase or uppercase. Uh, it's just more important of where you place the E and the number you've moved your decimal place. Again, using the E format, we're going to start by moving our decimal to change our number in between a number greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10. We're going to keep only the sig figs, getting rid of any of our placekeeping zeros. To make this number between 1 and 10, our decimal will need to be between the 2 and the 3. And instead of writing the times 10, we're going to write E. Now the number of times that we've moved the decimal will still need to be placed into this form of scientific notation. So count how many, one, two, three, four. We've moved it four places. So instead of writing four as an exponent, which we're not going to do because that's a special kind of operation in math. No, that's not what we want. We're going to write our four just next to the E on the right side. Again, Numbers greater than 10 will have a positive number to the right of the E. Numbers less than 1 will have a negative number to the right of the E. In this class, it doesn't matter if you use the times 10 or the E format. Whichever one you're most comfortable with is the one I would like you to use. Let's do some examples of putting numbers into scientific notation. We're going to write both of these in the times 10 format and the E format. 
In problem number one, our front number, which is also known as a coefficient, will be 5.48921. We're going to keep all the values because they are all significant. In the first one, we're going to do times 10. In the second one, we're going to write an E. Then we're going to count how many places that we move the decimal. We're going to move it one, two, three, four places. So our coefficient will have a number four. Our number next to the E will be a four. Now, is it going to be positive or negative? Well, this number is greater than 10, so it's a large number. Therefore, our exponent and our number next to the E will both be positive. And number two, our front number will be 4.5. And we have times 10 for the regular format and E. How many places do we move it? We move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this will be 7. Oh, sorry about that. I removed that as an exponent. Not supposed to be. Now we need to figure out whether it's going to be positive or negative. Well, this is a number smaller than 1, so we need a negative in the front. Negative. Then finally in number 3, we are going to write our number as 3 as our coefficient. Now my question is, is why didn't we keep any of the zeros? None of these zeros are significant. Therefore, we will not include them in our coefficient, the front number. We will just include the 3. Now we're going to write our times 10, or our e, and how many places have we moved it? 1, 2, 3, 4. So our exponent will be 4, 4 next to our e. Will it be positive or negative? Well, 30,000 is greater than 10, so both the exponent and number next to the e will be positive. Take a few minutes and practice a few on your own. Write down these numbers in your notes and then try to put them into scientific notation. Put them in the times 10 format and the E format. Pause your video now. We've looked at putting numbers into scientific notation. Now let's take a few minutes to talk about how to take numbers out of scientific notation. To do this, it's all based on the exponent. We're going to look at our exponent. If the exponent is positive, we're going to move the decimal right. Moving the decimal right on a number that's in scientific notation will make the number larger. And if you remember, positive exponents indicate numbers larger than 10. If the exponent is negative, we are going to move the decimal left. If you remember, negative exponents indicate numbers smaller than 1. So moving our decimal left will make numbers in scientific notation smaller than 1. Let's try the first example. 2.865 times 10 to the third. This is a positive exponent, therefore we must be dealing with a number that is greater than 10. So to make this 2.865 greater than 10, we need to move our decimal to the right. How many times? We're going to move it how many times the exponent shows. We're going to move it three times. So here we're going to move 1, 2, 3. So now our decimal place should be after the 5. Our number is 2,865. Double check yourself. If you moved it in the right direction, then your number should be greater than 10 because your exponent's positive. In this case, 2,865 is much larger than 10. The second Example, 1.2 times 10 to the negative fourth has a negative exponent. Therefore, we're going to need to move our decimal in a direction that makes 1.2 smaller. So to do that, we're going to move our decimal to the left, and we're going to move it four times. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're going to need to add 1, 2, 3 zeros in those empty places to make our number smaller than 1, which... Uh, correlates to the negative exponent. When taking numbers out of scientific notation that are in the E format, you're going to use the same idea. We are going to look at the number that's to the right of the E, 
And if it's a positive number, we're going to have to move the decimal to the right to make our number larger. If it's a negative number, we're going to need to move our decimal to the left to make our number smaller. We're going to take our decimal here. We have a 3. We need to move it 3 times. It's a positive exponent, so that indicates our number needs to be greater than 10. We're going to move our decimal place 3 times to the right. We're going to 2,865 a number greater than 10. Our second example has a negative exponent, so we're going to need to make this smaller. Move it over one, two, three, four times, and each of those empty spaces will be a zero. Our number is 00012, which is smaller than one. Let's practice a few of these, and just keep in mind that you need to keep track of your significant figures while you're doing this. In number one, we need to look at our exponent because we're in the time 10 format. It's a negative eight. We're gonna need to move our decimal place in a direction that makes this number less than one. So we're gonna move this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight places. Fill in those empty spots. Should be seven zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So our number will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, three, zero, four. And all of those six, three, zero, four are significant. You want to double check. You had four sig figs to begin with. You still have four sig figs in your expanded number. Number two, we have an E format. We're going to look at the number to the right of the E, which is a five. 5 indicates that it should be a large number because it's positive. We're going to take our 9.93 and move our decimal in a way that will make this a larger number. We're going to move it 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We need to fill in the zeros. Our number is going to be 9930000. Zero, zero, zero. Remember to keep your sig figs. We had 3 over here. 3 here. If you added the decimal place here, you are making these three zeros significant. We do not want those three zeros significant. We do not add a decimal place unless it's needed. And number three, look at our exponent. Our exponent's a positive three. Taking our value, we're going to move over one, two, three. 3, 2, 1, 0. In this example, we do need to add our decimal point because this 0 is kept in the coefficient or the front number. That means it's significant. We need to make it significant in our expanded form, and our decimal place does that. Finally, we have another E format. This time it's a negative 6. We're going to take our 5.72 and move our decimal in a direction to make this a smaller number, which will be to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six places. Fill in the zeros. And we have point zero 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 five zeros, and then five, seven, two. Again, three sig figs here, three here. You need to make sure to keep your sig figs uh, consistent from the scientific notation form to the expanded form. Take a moment and practice on your own. Here are four practice problems. Write them down in your notebook and then try expanding them, remembering to keep the sig figs in line and consistent. And go ahead and pause your video now and try them out.